So now, today we're talking about Windows Sandbox, which it's uh, a program that you have that's on Windows 10 Pro or higher, but you will have to enable it. To, and this is what it does. So let's say there's a specific program that you don't want to install on your host computer because it's suspicious or you don't know if it's safe, stable or safe. So that's where Windows Sandbox comes in. You're gonna install it, or, or yeah, and then you're gonna go and then open it. it. It's another Windows install. So after that, you can install it and say it has a virus. You can close the window and it'll delete everything in that Windows install. Not in the one that you, you do all your things on, but just the Windows Sandbox Windows install. So let me show you how to enable it. Just reminding you, you do have to have Windows 10 Pro or higher. So do turn Windows features on or off and then click on it. And then go down and you find Windows Sandbox. And it will be and you might, and I'm pretty sure you might have to have virtual machine platform on. And there, Windows Sandbox. Enable the dependencies required to run Windows Sandbox. So then you press OK. It might make you have to restart your computer. But then after you do, you go and search Windows Sandbox. And then you press yes. After that, it will boot up and we'll start. So let me do this. Let's say I think Chrome is unsafe, which it isn't, but let's say Chrome. And then I download it just to make sure it can run safe and is stable maybe i'm the uh, first time ever using it so i'm just gonna install it and the sandbox will do a full screen like this i'm just gonna accept let's say i'm gonna run it and then maybe it's like running good or what's or yeah, and you want it on your host computer. Let's say it's gonna download. And it's gonna be really good install, and it does work good. It if it works on the sandbox, it will work on your primary computer out of the application. So I'll come back when it installs. Okay, it installed, and now I'm just gonna open it. It opened two windows, but I clicked on it twice, so it's my fault. But it, it looks like it runs good. So, but after you close it, it says, Are you sure you want to close Windows Sandbox? Once Windows Sandbox is closed, all of its content will be discarded and permanently lost. So yeah, if there's a virus on the Windows Sandbox, nothing bad will happen. So then it's all gone. So then... That's how you use Windows Sandbox. Bye.